Hello and welcome to the 11th Raspberry Pi tutorial. Um, I'd just like to say, as always, a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I'm now on 935 subscribers, which is uh, really nice. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll hit a thousand soon. It's all, uh, it's all quite exciting. Um, I'd just like to point out that before we start the video that I always put the... Um, Put all like the source files and stuff in the um, in the description. So I've uh, probably forgot to mention that a couple of times on the on the uh, on the previous videos. But anyway, um, today I've uh, made like another. I've added like another part to the snake game, and um, basically what we've got is now is um, a green square that you can move with your arrows across the screen and uh, it'll overlap the food um, that we've made um, so yeah and, ba and basically what that what that green square is is like a, a template for one of the segments of our snakes um, so what we'll actually have is this is like one block of the snake so there'll be a head of like a, he a snake's head and then um, loads of these blocks now you can fill these at whatever you want I've just done it as a colour for now um, but it can we'll, I'll probably end up when the game, uh, when we're like finishing the game replacing this with a picture um, but yeah so basically what our snake is going to be is a collection of um, is like a group of, of sprites and you can see here um, snake part that class is one of those blocks and the snake is going to be made up of multiple blocks and then one snake head at the front. Um, <clears throat> so, so the classes I've, I've added are actually snake part and also um, I've added a class called direction. Um, I know all, all that's really for is for like an easy reference rather than having to remember that right is number one and left is number two. Um, they're just they're just made up numbers. It's it's just like you can refer to that. So saying like if direction equals right, rather than if direction equals one. So our snake part class then, well, it inherits sprite because that means that we can um, put them into groups easily. Um, and also, it's a bit different to the way I've done. Um, the other classes because we have to add we have to have some parameters in um, and the reason for this is thinking ahead that when you um, when you have a collection of these blocks obviously they can't all overlap so um, the snake class is going to have a collection of these blocks and when we're, make, when we're adding a new block we're going to have to um, give that a different position to the previous block and um, but for now, because it's only one block, the defaults are zero and zero, so it'll start in the top left, and the default directions the um, the right. So uh, as with all all uh, classes that inherit sprite, the first thing to do is initialize um, the base class, which is um, pygame dot sprite dot sprite, um, and then we're setting our direction. Um, to the one that's that's input, so that's the direction that's um, a, a property of the actual class. And then um, we're setting our image now. Um, as you'll know from last time, every uh, sprite has to have an image, which is what gets drawn, and also a rectangle, which is um, the, um, the like location and the and the size. So anyway, um, I'm making a surface that's twenty pixels by twenty pixels here. And then um, filling it with green, so those colours are RGB, and it's um, two five five two five five two five five, um, or they can be like so it's zero from two five five. So I'll just comment that in. Um, spec specify colour as RGB from zero to two five five. Right, um, we also need to pass through the screen rectangle. So, um, and the reason for that is so um, we know when the block is going to go off the screen, um, and 
at the moment, if the block hits the edge of the screen, um, it just stops. Because um, there's a couple of different ways, isn't there? There's, I think if I remember rightly, when you used to play it on like Nokia phones and stuff, if you cut, if you went over to this side, you'd come out on the other side. Um, but I'm pr I'm probably not going to do that. I'll probably just do the one where if you um if you hit the wall, then it's then it's game over. <clears throat> so anyway, um, we're getting our getting our screen rectangle, um, and I'll, you'll see how that's used down there. And then um, we get our rectangle from the image we've made, and then um, to initialize it, we're gonna we're gonna set the position to um, to to this to the um, like positions that have been put in, and then we just have a speed here, which I did set to ten. But um, I've set that to five, so so that value there is um, is where you set the speed that like the the block moves. So if I set that to ten, um, you'll see it's a lot a lot faster. Uh, yeah, that's probably a way too fast. But anyway, um, that's that's that. So I'll just. Um, now obviously that's that's quite easy. Um the most important part of the um of the code is uh, is obviously the uh, the movement code. So um <clears throat> so basically this update gets called when you um when you call update on the sprite collection. So in the in the main class um what we had last time was we had food um and then we just had food in that collection, so I've added um, snake na for now just to this collection, so we can just get the movement right and stuff like that. Um, and I've put snake first because, um, as it says here, the order add the sprites, so the order that listed here, basically the ones that come first, um, go on the top. So like the top layer. So um, if food was first. Then the square would go behind, behind the um, food rather than over it. Um, but anyway, so what happens is um, in the main loop, we've got all the all the standard stuff. Um, I've changed the frame rate to forty to try and make it a bit smoother. But um, I think the best way to to do um, smooth stuff, which isn't hasn't really been needed that much yet, but it probably will by the end of this. Um, and I'll do that just to just to show it but um is to do like I think it's called dirty rendering where basically you uh, you only up you only re render what has changed. So and that's obviously gonna massively improve um improve performance. So um so the important code is um is the handle events uh and also the update in the snake snake class. So we're basically handling all the all the key down events, and we're just basically saying if it's a right key, then uh, you set the snake's direction to right, and then if it's a left key, set it to left, and and so on. Um. So if I then go into this, um, we're basically saying if the segment is at any of the edges of the screen, so. Um, this is always this is always the hard bit to explain, but basically, if the x value of the rectangle is um is like touching is like so if you think about it the um the width of the screen rectangle take off the width of the square. So if I if I run this now, so if the direction's right and um. The width of the screen rectangle, so the x is going to be more than or equal to um, the width of the screen minus the width of the square, which basically means if it's at the edge and the direction's right, then we set result to false, and um, if result's false, then we don't move. Basically, so you only move. Um, this is the moving code down here. You only do that if result is true, and it's a similar thing for um, like the y. So. Um, so, ooh, that's not good. Ooh, have I done? 
I've just typed L there by mistake. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. Um, so, so um, it's ba basically it's it's stopping the square going off the screen. But um, so if the direction's down and um, and the height is less than less than the height, then we uh, return false, and that's basically um the same the same thing for for um for the left and right as well all right so basically the top left is um is class as zero zero so um to move up so we're gonna be reducing the um the y value basically <clears throat> um so so when we're going down, we're adding onto the y value, and when we're going up, we're taking the speed off the y value. Um, and then it's the same. It's the same for the x. Really, left is um, taking away from the x, and right is adding onto the x. Um, and that that's pr that's pretty much it. That's all. That's all the changes I've had to make. Um, and when when you think about it, it's not actually. It's not actually that um that hard. It's it's a little bit confusing getting your head around um making sure that you're not going off the edge of the screen. But once you've got that, once you've got that down, all, all the actual um movement code is uh is fine. And as I, as I say, I've not I've not changed anything else. And that's the good thing about about using sprites. Once you add your new sprite to the collection, it's it's done. Um, but yeah, if if you're having any pro any problems with your with your code, um, I would advise that you don't just look in look in the um source that I've provided because it's it's not really learning anything. You're better off like comparing the two and seeing what's wrong with yours. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um yeah cheers I'll uh, I'll see you next week